hello and welcome to this video so in this one we are going to talk about the best android gaming emulator for your pc or for your laptop so we are going to discuss uh four of them and then uh, we are going to take some help from the internet of course to just sort it out and see which one works the best for you and before i end the video i will definitely show you the one i have been using and why am i using it so let's jump into it right away let's go to internet browser and here we go the article is already open this is from techradar.pro now the best android emulators of 2022 or in 2022 have been listed on this article so we're gonna go from the first one so first on the list is going to be the blue stack now the ratings are pretty good on it a powerful android emulator that brings you android games to your desktop okay so any kind of the games now basically what kind of games do you play on an emulator most of you already know most of you may not so people who are new into this kind of gaming i mean this kind of universe of gaming they uh i will just give you a brief uh introduction on it so on the emulators we basically play the games which people usually play on their android phones or apple phones right any of them now games like the popular ones are like call of duty mobile gda 5 some of them do play uh what do you call it need for speed and then also uh pubg mobile so these are the games which people usually play on an android uh, emulator so in order to play those android games on a pc people use this kind of software which is called as emulator now uh coming back to the point so bluestack is the number one on the list now there are some solid reasons to install or use this guy one is the good quality reliable free and paid for the versions so yeah whichever the version you need you gotta pay for it i mean you can use the free one as well that's up to you reason to avoid is games platform only that's it that's the only restriction other than that yes i haven't seen this uh, emulator for, i mean getting freeze no this works like a magic the only downside over here is if you have uh, a limited internet connection or if you have a limited data this takes around one to probably two gigabits of data to just download it and install it and on top of that if you need to install some games yes there is that size as well so this is a great emulator but of a bigger size if that does not matter to you then go for this one try it out moving on to the second on our list is the Nox player this emulator has a wide compatibility for games and not just only for games you can download the apps as well right and recording options are there reason to avoid is it freezes sometimes what they mean by sometimes is that yeah for some people sometimes but from you it may freeze like a lot so i would say yeah probably mm, stay aside of it probably give it a try to blue stack rather than nox player so this is something i i would take it off the list myself as it freezes sometimes so right so you don't need a uh, gaming emulator which freezes like in the middle of the game right so for sure that's out of the list coming to the number three is game loop i think this should have been on number two i don't know why would they rank uh nox player to the rank number two but anyway coming back to the reasons to install it call of duty releases all of them are there and wide choices of releases like pubg mobile need for speed gta 5 free fire there are a lot of games on this platform which you can play reasons to avoid is claim gaming platform only so just like blue stack so there is a tie between blue stack and this the blue stack is actually not for just gaming so you can also download some other uh, applications on that but on this you cannot but as far as the gaming is concerned this is one of the best emulators and this is the one i am using so i'm gonna talk uh, about that in a bit 
let me take you to the next one on the list. Ah, here we go, Andy. Very light. That's how would I define it. I mean, it's not that heavy. You just install it like it's, it's, it will be done in no time. You just install it, uh, download the games, install them as well, and play it out. The only thing is the platform, the software. It's not that. Uh, it's okay i mean it's just that you will see that it's not that much developed it's it's still in a developing condition right so maybe just install it and try number five is memo player tried it once very light just like uh the one we discussed already which is andy it's the same size if you take a look at it this is how it looks you can try it out see how it works out for you but for me i think my it, it froze a couple of times but yeah pretty good to try it out yeah just give it a try see how it works out for you so they have listed five of them out of those five i would only recommend game loop or blue stack just two of them try these two see how it works if you have enough data this is the best out there now coming back to the end of the video so i myself as my opinion my take on this is i have been using game loop for like two to three years now uh, since call of duty i played once and then ever since i couldn't um, stop playing it it is it runs very smoothly on it every update that comes it just in the install it right away and the key mapping on this game loop emulator is amazing you don't have to do anything the only thing you need to do is download it and then install it but key mapping is automatic over there you don't have to do anything and then the video game i mean video play quality the gameplay quality i will show you i will show that to you let me open it up for you because i have already installed it so no need to worry about that here we go i have already installed this now exploring the library take a look over here let me stretch it all the way here we go so pubg mobile is over here download it install it see how it works right the recent update was like what september 15 so yes pretty much updated if you go with apex legends if you would like to play this this is pretty new july 12 so new updates are also gonna be on the way pretty good now if you go for call of duty i will show that to you because that's the one which works like magic on this emulator and then there is gda5 if you'd like to play that pretty good go for it try it out right and then grand theft auto and this is like miami city so yes there is a collection of games over here right so you can try it out there are some apps now just like messenger and a few others so you can try them out too but yes it is a good platform good emulator now let's get to the main course how does the gameplay work now all you need to do is just install the game once you will install it you're gonna open it up it's gonna take a few seconds to load over here depending upon the performance and speed of your pc and then yeah once it is done it's gonna take us to the home page of the game and i apologize i didn't know that there is an update but yeah every time you open it there is always an update so yeah it's just gonna take a few seconds already so the update is completed now we are about to be at the home page so here we are this is the home page let me cancel it out a lot of things in here you can also buy the season pass here if you have some money to spend for sure go for it now let's go to multiplayer match random just team death match all right it's about to begin so just stay with me see how good the gameplay is enjoy
So here it was guys, this was just a demo for the multiplayer and this is how it actually works. Pretty good, I hope you've seen it, I hope you loved it, I hope you loved the gameplay. So yes, of course, this is how smooth and clutter free it is, it just, you're just gonna enjoy the complete gaming experience. So yes, give it a try, see how it works for you and then let me know. Now we're gonna take a look at a battle royal gameplay, right? That works just as good as this one, even better. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back. Battle royal, let's start it. So just gonna show you guys, I'm not gonna um, play a full match, just like the one I did play before. It's just gonna be a short match. I'm just gonna try to show you guys how good is the gameplay over here. So here we are just yeah one important thing uh, one important thing I forgot to mention is your internet connection that is something it should it should be good it should be at least I mean four to five MB megabytes per second it should be that good if it is anything less than one megabytes per second then that can be a problem if you are playing on a PC if you're playing on a phone it should be fine but for a PC yes that could be a problem so as you can see, I'm consistently getting around 60 FPS over here, right? On the top left corner, you can see the uh, FPS I'm getting over here. So yeah, that's that's the max this game can push, and that's that's why I'm getting uh, I'm getting actually the maximum FPS this game can push it for. So that's it, 60 FPS I am getting over here. But yes, for you guys, it's gonna be. So here we go. Here we are guys, as you can see, pretty good.
that's not an enemy but yeah the gameplay is pretty smooth so yes do give it a try take a look i'm consistently getting around 60 fps so pretty good pretty smooth uh just yeah try it out see how it works out for you let me know in the comment section if you have any questions do let me know and then yes in the next video i will definitely uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna discuss some of the game settings for this emulator. So yeah, do watch that video in case you're wondering about the settings, if you need the settings. And then if you have any questions, let me know. So thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one with the game settings for this emulator. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.